Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today. All the videos of GK Today are absolutely free and available on GK Today's YouTube channel. And if you are looking for interactive quizzes in text and also their solutions, then please download the GK Today's Academy Android app. We have several free and paid courses in that app. And also I would like to recommend you that if you are preparing for UPSC prelims examination 2021 and 2022, then we have a daily current affairs quiz series in Academy app. You may subscribe to that series if you find it good. In that quiz, we provide daily 10 questions especially crafted for the UPSC preliminary examination and we try to connect each current affairs event with some fundamental knowledge in a static general studies topic. We hope you will find it very useful. Further. After the successful completion of the series on Indian polity in which we cover the entire Indian polity in 60 videos uh, with more than 1000 MCQs, here we are back to start up with another series that is on world geography. And this particular series is of 95 videos and in each video we are going to discuss about 10 to 15 questions. So now let's begin with the questions on world geography. So the first question is, which among the following defines pyroclastics correctly? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option A, that is rocks composed solely or primarily of volcanic materials. See pyroclastics are sedimentary clastic rocks and they compose mainly volcanic material where the volcanic material has been transported or reworked through mechanical action such as by wind or water. These rocks are termed as volcanic clastic also. Now the next question is, what are the stratovolcanoes also called? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option B, that is composite volcanoes. So the composite volcanoes are also called as stratovolcanoes and are built of many layers of hardened lava. Now the next question is, what is the narrow opening of the volcano called? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option A, that is crater. See the narrow opening of the volcano is called the crater and it is the upper part of the vent uh, which is a cup shaped depression and it is called as a crater. Now the next question is, which among the following are the most explosive volcanoes of the earth? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option C, that is caldera. So the calderas are the... Uh, so the calderas are known as the most explosive volcanoes of the earth and they tend to collapse on themselves. And these collapsed depressions are called calderas. Now the next question is, which among the following is not a characteristic of a stratovolcanic lava? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option B that is poor in silica. See, uh, and they... Uh, See, andesitic uh, lava is also called as composite lava or stratovolcanic lava and it, uh, and it is characterized by the following. Firstly, it has high percentage of silica and secondly, highly vicious, then it is light colored and it has a low density. Therefore, option B is correct and uh, poor in silica is not a characteristic of a stratovolcanic lava. Moving ahead with the next question. So, which is the largest active volcano in the world? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option D that is Mauna Loa. So the world's largest vo active volcano is Mauna Loa in Hawaii and where famous coffee is grown in the rich volcanic rocks. Now the next question is what is the cool stiff lava called? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option A that is blocky lava. See all the four mentioned uh, uh, options are the four types of lava and blocky lava is the cool and the stiff lava and blocky lava does not travel far. Now the next question is which among the following volcanoes is not a part of the circumpacific belt? So you have the following options and the correct answer is Mount Istamboli that is option A. See the Mount Istamboli is a part of the Mediterranean belt. So the circumpacific belt extends to the margins of the Pacific Ocean and almost 80% of the volcanoes are situated here. Now the next question is, where are volcanoes usually located? So you have the following options and the correct answer is option D, that is all of the above. See volcanic activity takes place at the divergent and convergent plate boundaries. 
and at the same time volcanoes also take place at hot spots now the next question is which among the following lava is the common eruptive product of submarine volcanoes so you have the following options and the correct answer is option c that is pillow lava so the pillow lava are attributed to the extrusion of lava underwater thank you so much so this was all for today's video and we hope that you like our uh, new initiative so please give your feedback in our comment section and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos thank you